Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody doing today? I uh, finally getting around to doing my uh, Friday Night Magic results. I uh, went to a, a different LGS than I normally go to. Much bigger uh, event. There was a lot of players there. <laughs> Probably 20 players or so. Um, but I drafted a deck that I thought was really good and failed miserably. But anyways, let's, uh, let's go over what I got. So first pack, I got the... Uh, the Oath Swarm Paladin, or Four Swarm Paladin, uh, which is pretty decent. Menace, one drop, one, one, plus you can create treasures, and you can pump up creatures. So, it's pretty crazy. Um, great little cards. Uh, I knew I, I was kind of planning on going black-red anyway. So, when I pulled this the first pack, I was like, oh, definitely going black, you know. So, so uh, I started kind of pulling black and red cards on the first pack. And then the second pack comes around and I get a rogue class. So I was like, well, let's change that. I'm going to go black blue, do the mirror like I did last time. And, uh, you know, because this card just destroyed me at the pre release. <laughs> so uh, I was like, yeah, this card's so good. I'm going to go rogue class. I'm going to try and get a lot of uh, fast creatures that I can really take advantage of the rogue class with. And, uh, so I went black and blue, and I ended up getting a Hall of Storm Giants too. This card is really, really good uh, for sealed or draft. This card is, I mean, you can throw a seven seven at your opponent with a Ward three on it. Come on, that's pretty good. So, and for six mana with only one blue pip, that's not bad at all. Uh, I don't like the fact it comes into play tapped if you got two or more lands, and I never got it early on. But yeah, not a big deal. The seven seven was huge. Um, so, those those were the, the three rares that I actually played in the deck. Um, quickly after that, I got a uh, Death Priest of Miracle, too. Which, um, there was a lot of zombies in the deck, so I thought it would help. Turns out it didn't help. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I got you know, a lot of, you know, I was looking for quick creatures to really take advantage of the rogue class. And I ended up getting three of the Silver Ravens, including a foil one. Um, so these help a lot. These are awesome. A one drop, one, one flyer that lets you scry when you enter the battlefield. This card's going to end up in the Azorius flyers for sure. Uh, <laughs> that card's awesome. And I did get a Lightfoot Rogue. Um, the Lightfoot Rogue, I had really good luck with the uh, in the pre-release tournament with this one and that one fairy that whenever you roll a dice, you pop out a 1-1 one, one flyer. Unfortunately, I didn't get the fairy at all in this one. Uh, I didn't see one go by at all. Otherwise, I would have grabbed it. Because uh, this guy with the fairy is a great combo. Because every time you attack with this guy, you're going to get... You're going to roll a die and get death touch or get death touch and pump him up. And uh, so every time I'd attack with this guy, I'd get that uh, I'd get that fairy. And with death touch, he doesn't get blocked a lot of the time. So that would have been great with the rogue class. So... I did get a couple of sampling gas as well, so a couple more one drop quick little guys. Uh, they're pretty effective. They can take out any one ones when they die, and uh, or anything with one toughness when they die, and or you can create a treasure token if you're mana locked. And then I got a soul knife spy, which combos amazingly with thieves tools. Uh, last at, during the at the pre-release, I got two of these and two of the thieves tools. I did get two of the thieves tools in the draft, but I only got one soul knife spy. Um, but I didn't really get to take advantage of them much because, man, people were just pulling out these huge creatures really quick on me. <laughs> and everybody got a lot of removal. Um, I did get the talisman as well, which I really love for this kind of little setup, this little rogue setup. Because you can copy one of your creatures and then you got more creatures to take advantage of the rogue class. Um, I only got one removal though, that's just a, a precipitous drop, which is, uh... The big problem that I had is everybody else had a lot of removal. I had none. So I think because there were so many players there and a lot of the players were saying that they had researched how to draft this set a lot, you know, so they were they were pulling all the really good removal cards out. I didn't get any other removal. Uh, I got the Death Priest. I got a Feign Death to save one of my creatures. Check for traps, uh, dungeon crawler, zombie ogre. I tried to put a couple little bit bigger creatures in there, but a lot of it I was trying to stay fast. Um, but I didn't have enough card draw because I wasn't getting the uh, the I wasn't getting the spy out fast enough, and I I either 
get the spy and not have a thieves tools or it get killed as soon as I hit the board. So I just couldn't get the card draw to really make it effective. So I kept running out of cards like turn four, or turn five, I'd be my hand would be empty because everything was so cheap to cast. So I ended up I think that was one of my biggest problems that I didn't put enough big beasts in there. Uh, just to show you some of the other cards I got, I got the Minion of the Mighty as a as a rare when I was still planning on going black red. <laughs> I thought that was cool. And I got the Drizzet. Um, that one just got passed to me and there's nothing else good in the pack. So I, I took it because cool card. And yeah, I just, these are just some random cards that I ended up with. And here's when I was planning on going red. I did get an improvised weaponry. So I did have a little bit of removal in red. Uh, rapier, elemental, um, you come to the knoll camp, okay, whatever, and <laughs> javelin ear, tiny little bit of removal, um, so I, I did start doing pretty good with the black and red, but when I pulled that rogue class, I just couldn't resist go, trying to go for the rogue class, uh, and, and repeat what happened last week, but on the other foot, you know, so, that's what I pulled. I didn't win a single game. I literally did not win a single game. Uh, in four rounds, not a single win. I just got just destroyed. Uh, apparently, small, fast creatures just aren't very effective in this set because there's so many cheap, big creatures in this set uh, and so many ways to pump up cheap, big creatures in this set. So uh, I think I probably should have grabbed some more equipment or something to try and pump up the small creatures might, might have helped but i just uh it seemed like i was overmatched in everything um you know i'd be i'd have a bunch of one ones and two ones and two twos and stuff and they'd have three threes and four threes and seven sixes and whatnot thanks green so <laughs> anyways wanted to give you guys a little recap of what happened uh, no prize packs to open unfortunately because i failed miserably so <laughs> let me know as you guys think and how you did at your pre-release and uh don't try and run quick small aggro in this block because there's just too many beasts and there's too much removal to deal with them so that's my take on it so let me know what you guys think and we'll see you in the next one thanks bye